Kindly to congratulate you for this historic achievement. And let me say that this is not an ordinary achievement. This is indeed an extraordinary achievement. If you look at the circumstances, the circumstances under which we have gotten this victory, indeed there is God in heaven. And nothing encourages me when I see especially the new members of parliament who have been elected. It is really a manifestation of the hope we have in this country. You made the people of this country believe. I know there are some members here, like my good friend Kibolek, who still can't uh, understand how they are members of parliament yet. Indeed, there's a God in heaven. And many, 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 many more. Nothing makes me proud than seeing some people who have, you know, really struggled. Uh, Honorable Jamatia, Honorable Kibolek, the member for Mguen, and many, many more who are members of parliament because William Samoy Ruto gave people of this country a chance to believe. As we celebrate, let me say, with a word of caution, that we have a lot of expectations from Kenyans. And we are taking over government and this administration within you know, very difficult circumstances. You know the level of debt we have in this country. You know the despair Kenyans have. So we still have a lot of work ahead of us. But I'm very sure that, Your Excellency, you are equal to the task and we will deliver. As we sit here today, some of us cannot be able to come into terms of what really transpired through three, the last three years. I remember I was counting this every day to His Excellency, uh, Dr. William Ruto. I would count each and every one day, every creaking of the clock, because we could not wait to see this day come. It is true, it is the end of dynasty, and Kenyans must now move. What we are asking is that for the remaining few days, these people should not tire us. I'm not even uh, thinking about them, of what they are trying to do. Because there has come a time when Israel must go. And the final word uh, from uh, 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 Moses to Pharaoh was that let our people go. Our people have decided, Kenya has spoken, the people have spoken, and Uhuru Kenyatta, you must let Kenyans go. This is the time really to work. And I think now after politics, we must deliver to our people because we want 2027 to be a walkover for all of us. So I'm going to urge all of us to work together as a team. And then let's also be polite to the ones who have lost. Let's be nice to them, hold their hands, to Aombe, to Avute Pamoja, we build one country called Kenya that can move forward. Na mi nitaku wakishia presidential elect that kwamba hii serikali yetu ambao tunaizi anza sasa, haki tuongoza, itukua ni serikali ambao utafanya vitu ambao utafanya tofauti kidogo. Hakuna kujivuta sasa, lazima uchumu inuke, na utafanya vitu kwa mtindo wa chap chap. Kila kitu isuange upesi. Thank you. God bless. Mwishimua William Ruto, tulimpeleka kwa Kenya kama mugombezi wa urais wa mungano wa Kenya Kwanza. Lakini sasa hayo yamepita. Baada kuchaguliwa, yeye si rais wa Kenya Kwanza, ni rais wa wa Kenya wote. Kwa hivyo hata wala mwa mepoteza ni muhimu, pia tuwapatie mkono, tuwapatie bega la kwegemea, ili wahisi kwamba rais ruto, si rais wa Kenya Kwanza tu, bali ni rais wa Kenya wote. Kwa hivyo, hilo ni muhimu kwa sababu tutaki kuleta cheche. Ni kweli kwamba tunashabikia uh, ushindi wetu, Lakini wakati tunashabikia ushindi wetu pia tujue kwamba hawa ni muhimu tuwalete pamoja ili tuwa na inchi moja na tusukume gurudumu, gurudumu la maendeleo pamoja. Santeni sana. If there will be court processes, we will uh, engage in those and make sure that we, because we are Democrats and we believe in the rule of law. So, to that extent, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say... Um, We've had a wonderful meeting this morning. I think we have introduced uh, the new members who are here for the first time. We have also agreed that uh, Kenya Kwanza is going to run a mentorship program for our new members so that we can make them better, more effective, more efficient uh, legislators and people's representatives, and uh, we can better train them.
to be able to appropriate their responsibilities of oversight, their responsibilities of legislating, and their uh, responsibilities of uh, representation. We want them to be effective so that we can better deliver uh, to the people of Kenya. So with those many uh, remarks, I think uh, we have also agreed on other internal matters on uh, how, what uh, priorities we are going to work on. We have also agreed on uh, other political manenos which we are going to engage in and move forward uh, together. Uh, and in our Mideast, I think we have, uh, we have our county governors who are here. Um, we have senators who are here. We have members of parliament also who are here. Our senators, we have 24 senators. Uh, <clears throat> Asante sana, waishimiwa, ketu chini. Kenya Kwanza members of parliament again? 160, 163 of them. They are here. Ah, yeah. Asante ni sana. Thank you very much. We also have in the House uh, independents who are not, who are not members, directly members of Kenya Kwanza. Wasimame. We have them in the House. I think we have uh, how many of them? There? There are eight and another two who are, who are not here today. Okay, so out of 12, I think 10 members of the, 10 independent members have joined our team. Um, I think those are the people who are there. Can I ask all our governors then to stand? My governor, where to? Let's do the governors first. Thank you very much. Those are uh, our governors, Asante Nisana. And then the deputy governors, Wasimame. Very good, Asante Nisana. We still have uh, two outstanding uh, governors because the elections have not been carried out. And we are confident that uh, those two, we will deliver them to Kenya Kwanza. We are, we are confident. I will spare no effort to work with each and every one of you to make sure that you succeed because in your success lies our collective success. So we will work together, we will pull together. And as my able deputy has said, this consultation will be the norm in Kenya Kwanzaa. Consultations will be the norm, will be uh, the order of the day, because we believe that every person who has been elected has not been elected by chance. They have been elected because they have something they can bring on the table to make our success even better. Yeah, so we will depend on you. We want you to speak freely when we meet like this. We want you to speak freely, openly, so that we can carry the ideas of everybody on board as we chart the future of our country. So to all of you, um, I want to tell you, this will be the place where we can all consult, we can bring our ideas, we can shuffle those ideas so that a good idea can give way to a better idea and a better idea can give way to the best ideas. And that's how we are going to take Kenya into the future.